that moment when you realize you're really in the presence of a kind of acting genius. Tell me about that. Well, I mean, for me, Almost Famous was my first real, very extensive acting experience. It was my first film, it was my first leading role, and it was my first time around actors of that caliber, uh, Philip and Billy Crudup and Jason Lee and all those guys. Uh, we did a lot of rehearsal. We did two months of rehearsal, and I got to meet everybody but Philip, and Philip showed up on the day, and Philip was sort of in character, which Cameron Crowe had warned me about. He said Philip's probably just going to be... Lester-ish while he's around set. And he was, but he was very, very kind. And watching him and seeing the amount of preparation and the amount of thought and care that went into what he was doing on set those days was uh, a new level, a new sort of... There was also for... an intensity to his work. Um, even when he was feeling sick and had the flu, he'd still be right on his game. In fact, even more intense, perhaps. And a kind of intolerance of trying to make you feel good or relaxed or happy. Oh, he was yeah. like, just get on with this. Yes, yes, absolutely. I, I appreciated that, though. I mean, uh, you know, everybody was very warm and very welcoming to me because I was, I was very young and inexperienced, so they didn't want to pressure me too much. But Philip, I mean, came from, uh, from a real, you know, grassroots and very gritty acting background, and uh, I think his attitude was like, hey, kid, you got lucky, and now you gotta, now you got to fill the role. He was clean and sober at the time. Uh, having already been treated in rehab predictions in his early 20s. And, and you said in, in the post, there was a certain weight that came with it. There was a certain darkness that's part of what made his acting so compelling and so complete that he was almost carrying the scars of, I guess, what he'd been through. Absolutely. And it, it was, a, it, you know, there was a darkness there, there's a past there that you don't know about. And uh, I always appreciated that in his acting. And it also, it seems bled into the way that he chose his roles and chose the films that he ended up in. I mean, films like Love, Liza that are very, very dark in their material and tone, but are somehow the most lovable and uh, uh, compelling experiences in watching films for me. There was 